picks, if gets low on, on durability, your options are to make another iron pick or to let it break. I can use a duke, just the one, and repair it. So nice. I can also modify it, but I don't have any. Actually, you know what? No, I do. I'm gonna take this bronze pick that I made. I I made this. Uh... Ooh. Well, yes, the, the anvils I think are vanilla, but um. The repairs for those cost, like, levels, rather than just materials, I think. It's... So, another thing about Tinker's Construct is instead of enchanting your tools, uh, you modify them. See how that says modifiers are remaining three? I take this emerald, pop it in, and I get the emerald modifier. Emerald modifies it with, what was it? 50% extra durability? Something along that line? The point being, my bronze pick is way more durable. Also, that's way too many stats, I should stop doing that. Um. However, there is an important thing to note. Uh, I'm gonna go over to my part builder. I'm gonna stick the pickaxe head pattern in. I'm going to stick this iron ingot in, and I'm not going to have something show up. Uh, because you can't turn ingots into parts via the part builder, you have to do something a little more ridiculous. And that's what's on my second floor. Oh, but although, also by the way, I'm really proud of this stairwell. I'm going to expand it eventually when I can make third floor. Uh, but yes, through this door here, is a smeltery. Just gonna sit here and let this image sink in for a second because explaining how this thing works is a little uh... I have a donation box? When did I get a donation box? Oh, yeah. Well, if I had the ability to move slower, that would be nice. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have high quality, and Minecraft is sort of chugging my computer. So, so I'm gonna let this uh, sit in. You know what? I should have one more of these. There we go. So, this is a smell tree. There's the casting table, which I haven't gotten the uh, patterns for yet, and the casting basin, which I've been using the most. Here's the controller. Uh, level of lava fuel measured in millibuckets because. All of the mod, all of the mods that use liquids tend to measure them in millibuckets, one thousand millibuckets per bucket, and you use a lot of them. Point being uh, is that I'm gonna shove all nine pieces of, of iron ore in there. And slowly but surely, they're going to, they're going to do the thing. While I'm in here, I'll show off uh, any eye. Not enough items. My the, the UI around my menus. Uh, if I just go down here and I whatever, I'll type in oh iron. So that shows all the things with iron in its name, or with iron in the name of the mod for iron chest. So I don't want to say iron chest. I have iron chest plate, and pretty much every item that the iron chest mod gives, including dirt chest. Dirt chests are terrible. Do not use them. Um, now that my iron has smelted down, I have 18 ingots worth from those uh, nine iron ore. I made a multiple of nine for a very specific reason. Bloop. Let that fill up for a little bit. 
Bot. 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 Also, uh, I'll, I'll wait for a second. Uh, Oop. This is my skin. It's kind of nice. So, boom it. Purple. I like purple. Purple's my favorite color. Where was I? Um, right. Another thing about the smeltery. I. I'm gonna cheat in a couple of items to demonstrate something. So, what is it? I have to look up the uh, recipe. Actually, um, that is another important thing about NEI, is uh, recipe lookups. So, say I want to look up, oh, how do I make an iron chest? Oh, whoops. I have to not be typing. How do I make an iron chest? I hit R while moused over it, and it pulls up all of the recipes for iron chests. One is a regular chest and eight iron ingots. One is a copper chest for glass, which keeps alternating between anything that counts as glass for such things, and four iron ingots. Multiple blocks count as glass for the purposes of crafting. Or dictionary is nice because it essentially says, uh, here's a cluster of items. All of these count as the same thing for the purposes of these mods' recipes. So that mods' items can work for other mods' recipes. It, it's, it's good for keeping everything organized, is, is the point. Whoops. There we go. Um, what was next? Wait! Um, Shift R, on the other hand, say I want to know everything I can make with a copper in it, which is an insane number of items, so don't expect to look at all of them at once. I hold shift R. Let's see, I can make cables with copper and a cutting knife. I can grind grindstones, shape, shapeless. It's there's a lot of different patterns. And I'm looking for this one. Smeltery melting. One copper ingot turns into molten copper. Shift R on the molten copper. Let's me know what I can make with molten copper. Because sometimes you see there are problems. Oh, what is it? Was it tin? I think it was tin. Or no, is it aluminum? Aluminum. So I want to take molten aluminum. Here we are. So molten aluminum and molten copper make aluminum brass. Forty-eight and sixteen, so three to one ratio. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. Um, I'm going to spawn in uh, one, two, three. I'm going to go over here to copper. I'm going to spawn one. Then I'm going to cast. And I'm going to ingot cast. Yes, metallurgy. Tinker's construct has metallurgy in it. It's great. Also, it's terrible. So, I'm going to uh, shove these cheaty ingots. Uh, in there. Then I'm going to put the cast on this table.
Then I'm going to go back in my bag, and I'm going... Actually, no. I'm going to go back downstairs while that's cooking. Close my door. Go slowly down the stairs if I can. Sneak everywhere because reasons. I'm going to pull out a bone pickaxe. It didn't have to be the bone one, could have been any of the other ones. I chose the bone one because it was the one my mouse was on. Always be honest with the audience. Sneak back up the ladder, recoil the stairs. I know how to words. I, I don't know how to words. Don't believe me when I say I know how to words. Uh, I look inside this, and I have molten aluminum brass. Now, this ingot cast is nice and all. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to pour out some. It's going to give me that ingot. Ooh. Then I'm going to pull the cast out. So then I'm going to put the ingot down. Then I'm going to pour this out. Because you see, aluminum brass is the material you use to make casts. So I put the pickaxe head down. And I pour it out. And I make myself a pickaxe cast. Or the, the pickaxe head cast. And then I cast... The, wait. Yeah. Then I try and cast it, but I can't make a pickaxe head out of aluminum brass. In fact, aluminum brass. Yep. No no pick it, no, no tool piece items exist for aluminum brass. So I will put a ingot cast back down and cast another ink it. Because I can. Boop. Hmm. Problem being is that I cheated all those materials in, so I'm going to uh, delete them back out. Didn't cheat the bony pickaxe head though. So there's that. Um, where was I? I was casting some bars and stuff. Two bars, you get your head, it's great. I can type it out if you need to. Metallurgy is a little more complicated. Mm. No, head, no. Now is not the time to be a GM. I'm streaming. Yeah. Oh, right, because Minecraft is tanking my system, there's like a bigger delay than I'm used to. That's my problem. That makes more sense. That makes more sense? I'm gonna go with that makes more sense. Well, casting is more common. Just building tool parts is pretty simple. It, it's a little more complex than just building an iron pickaxe with three iron ingots and two sticks. But it also gives you more control over what you make as well as costing less. Because it only costs one ingot to cast a pickaxe head. And then you can also use just one ingot to repair your iron pickaxe. Um. The other thing is you also get more options. For instance, um, it has four types of swords. It has three swords in a deck. And spears. And a battle sign. Because reasons. Also, Battle Pan, which lets you cook food wherever you want to be, because reasons. Stuff like that lets you make bows out of materials. Um, also of note, since I've smelt...